Hang on for shout outs. Okay, I've opened up tiled 1.5, so this is like halfway to 2.0, I guess. Anyway, uh, I have used a previous version of tiled before, so I have some assets that I can use. When you first start out, you're gonna want to have a new tile, a new map, and a new tile set. The new map will require that you get these settings right size of the map so you're gonna have to figure out how big your tiles are and how many of those tiles you're gonna need for the size of your map now if you know what the settings are for the game engine you're using this is easy you know this the maximum size divided by eight or whatever however big your pictures have to be for each space so I'm not gonna create one but I've done this in the past a uh, tile set, you're going to have to either select a photo or something like that. Tell it what size the tiles are and such, and there you go. It'll create a tile set for you, if you haven't already. Now, for me, I'm going to open the files. Open. And because I have a space that I keep all my all my assets in, I'm going to find the background templates, the size of the maps, and there we go. Open. And now I have my map one or my backgrounds. My uh, map size for the large and my map size for the small. Looks like this window got shrunk. I guess they're trying to. There we go. Let's just scoot that for more room. Looks like they pretty much got the same tools they've always had. What's this one? Select same tile. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so they added one more feature, it looks like. Alright. Now, the great thing about Tiled is that it can actually output not only images, which is the way that I use it, I output... Okay, so when you output export as image, that's how I do it. And then I want to... visual layer. Yes, we're going to want to include visual layers. We're not going to want to make it larger. So it has to stay the same scale that you tell it to. Now because GB Studio uses PNGs and JPEGs for the, the images, and it also uses a special special colors in order to work even the newer form of that still requires that you stick with the same color scheme so I what I did was I grabbed basically the background from the old game and I can just pop it in here and see it's that simple. Now, if you really want to get fancy, randomize, paint bucket, pour. And there you go. You got a whole bunch of flowers. Now, you're going to want to take the randomizer off, paint bucket. You're going to want to turn to stamp. And this is how you grab like a tree and drop it in. See? So simple. It's so simple. What's great about using this particular program is it shortens how fast you have to be in order to make your backgrounds. 
you've seen that I could just paint bucket and grab and paste and things like that. And because of the way that I'm mashing things, okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add an extra tile layer. Go ahead and call it tile layer two. And I'm gonna grab this little house. And what you'll see is it'll actually place it over the existing layers. And I'll grab the roof off of this one. Boom. Fancy house, right? Actually, let's give it a slightly different. See? You can go like that. Easy switch. And it's that simple. So. Now, what do we do when we got this done? Now, say you want something a little more custom than just copy paste. Well, you're gonna have to pull out something different because tile doesn't really let you draw on the map. It doesn't let you create tiles within it. it just tiles up existing photos or images. So we can switch layers, things like that. Now, because it has object layers and such, because it does that, you can add objects in here and a few of the higher level game engines will actually let you use. So it will let you export a special kind of file Just export, export as, export as lets you export it as a few different things. But you're going to want to export as an image. Only include visual layer. Include backgrounds, objects. You're going to want to export as an image for GB Studio. Today's shout out goes to Joshua L. He seems to be doing some gameplay videos at the moment. And uh, how do you earn it? He earned the shout out by being a public subscriber, leaving comments, and having content. You gotta leave, you gotta have videos, people. Alright, I'll see you all later. Bye.